So the Linux Mint panel is the uh, key component to the desktop environment. It's similar to the taskbar in Windows. And by default, it's at the bottom of the screen, uh, just like it is in Windows. Now we can move that, and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. In the Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop environment, the panel is divided into three distinct zones. You have the left zone, which is right here. You have the center zone, which is right there. And you have the right zone over here on the right. The left zone contains the start button and it contains the launcher, which is your icons for all your apps. And it also contains the uh, window list, which if you look over here, right there, there's uh, uh, my screen recorder running and there's a little uh, green underline right there. That means that that's running. So it contains those three things. Now, even though I've got a lot going on right here, all of this is considered the left zone. Now, the center zone is empty by default and usually sits right here. Uh, this would contain your things like uh, widgets and applets, like your clock and weather and system monitors. Um, I don't use applets and widgets, so um, it's it's always empty by default for me anyway. So, And then we have the right zone, which is over here. The right zone uh, contains all the system tray icons, like notifications, uh, your volume and network and battery and calendar and things like that. So now if you want to customize this, you find a blank spot. So I've got a lot going on here, so it's hard to find a blank spot on this uh, this panel. But if you find a blank spot, a, a, a black spot, you right click and you have here panel settings, applets, panel edit mode, move, remove, add new panel and system settings. First thing, let's go into panel settings. Okay, we start off, we have the panel visibility. Now I leave it to always show because I like to have a quick access to my icons, but you can also uh, tell it to auto hide and what it'll do, it'll hide it until you bring your mouse down over it and it'll bring it up. Um, you also have intelligently hide panel. What that is, is the panel will be up unless you um, are running an application that may take up its space. In other words, let's maximize this and you'll see that the panel is gone. You can still come down and uh, bring it up, but uh, yeah, once you, uh, let's minimize this again or bring it back to small and you'll see it comes back up. So it basically, it only hides when it needs, when the, the application needs the space. I just leave it to always show. And then we have the uh, panel height, so you can change this, the height of the panel. Um, I think that just distorts it, so I always just leave it at 40. And then we have the panel appearance. These uh, options are the same for each one. Um, font size, allow theme to, def to determine font size, which is what I always use. Uh, scale to panel size optimally. And then what that'll, that'll do is they'll take the icons and make them the uh, size that would fit in here uh, optimally, perfectly. Uh, centered or you can tell it to actually uh, use the um, actual panel size uh, scale it to the panel size exactly so like that and what it'll do is it'll expand the icons to the actual panel size I don't do that I always just leave it um, uh, scale to panel size optimally and then you can change the icon size by pixels and the same is true for the left the center and the right zone uh, for instance if you wanted to uh, these icons over here the uh, the speaker and the printer, if you wanted to increase those, you could go up like this and see how they'll get much bigger. Um, I always just leave them as default, so, you know, like 18 to 20. And then we have down here the uh, general panel options. This is where you go into the panel edit mode. Now, you can access it from here, or you can actually just right-click on the panel and go into uh, panel edit mode right here. But first, let's go to the second one here, which is applets. Now, this is where you would utilize the center zone. And so in here, let's suppose that I wanted to um, bring up the on-screen keyboard. So I click on that, and I add the plus. And you'll notice it put it right there. See, that right there is the center zone. Right there. And like I say, though, I don't use the center zone, so uh, I don't use these... Um, these applets so I just leave it off and next is the panel edit mode now what uh, panel edit mode allows you to do uh, you can drag applets and stuff to their desired zone you can move these icons around uh, you have to stay within the zone though like you'll notice this green block right here this separates the zone so we have the left zone the center zone 
and then the right zone over here. So if you had applets, you could move the applets around. And over here, you could, uh, you know, if I didn't want this uh, battery for the mouse and keyboard, I could move it around and put it where I wanted it. But um, I don't use this uh, that mode at all, so um, I just leave it like that default. But uh, yeah, you can do some you know fun things with it, but I just I don't need to. And then next we have the move. Uh, if you click on this, you'll notice what it does. It puts a red bar to the top, right, and left. Now, if you had a second monitor, it'll also put four uh, blocks around the the other monitor too, so you can move it. So let's say that I wanted to move it to the top. All I'd have to do is you go up here and just click on that, and it moves it to the top. And it functions the same way, except it just drops down. But I just get used to it on the bottom, and so I just leave it there. And then if you want to add a new panel, you just click here, and then you click where you want the new panel to be. So if you want one up here, you just click. So with the second panel here, uh, this is kind of nice, because if you right-click on it, and you say applets, this is really cool. Um, go down here to panel launchers and hit plus. Um, and then there's another really good one here. This is kind of cool. Um, I don't use it, but I'll, I'll show it to you. A workspace switcher. This is really nice. And so what this is, if you have uh, used the multiple workspaces, now I have two monitors, so I don't need to use the workspace. But um, I know a lot of people that do use the workspace switcher. Uh, and what they do is, uh, instead of having to use the keyboard shortcut, you can switch to the different workspaces right here. Now, I don't use it because you'll notice down here, I've used up all my space. And so I can't uh, scrunch this in here. And so if I had less icons here, I certainly would put the workspace switcher down here um, and and use it. But I don't. So because I don't, I don't use a lot of workspaces. I have two monitors. Um, and I'm actually moving to three. So I really don't need that. But there are so many people that use the uh, workspaces. So you just click that on. But um, anyways, yeah. So oh, also, let me go back. When you're in the applets, you'll notice here it says previous and next panel. Uh, that's the two panels. Right now, if I'm on previous, it says, you know how it's, it's red up here? That's the panel that I'm working on. If I go next, it switches down here to red. And this is where when I add uh, an applet, it'll go down there. So if I want it on the top one, I make sure that that's highlighted red. And then when I uh, click the plus sign, it ends up over here. But I don't use it, so I'm just going to click uh, remove. And there we go. And then uh, we have system settings. That goes right into your system settings. It's the same one that's here in the start menu. System settings right here. So, so there's a lot of things that you can do with this um, with this panel. Um, I don't do an awful lot with it. I kind of leave it the way it is. Uh, like I say, I don't run applets and things. And as far as you know, the panel edit mode, the icons are perfectly fine where they are, and I don't. I don't need to bother with them, but if you want to, you can absolutely. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. Um, it's kind of a fun little thing if you want to play with it. To me, it's just cosmetic, and I'm not into a lot of cosmetic things. So it's um, to me, I don't play with it much. So if you're the kind of person that likes to change things up and uh, you know, kind of make them fit your needs, then um, yeah, the developers have made it really easy to do, really simple to uh, it's, you know, it's straightforward to make the changes necessary, but. Anyways, that's all there is to changing the um, Linux Mint desktop panel. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And don't forget, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. We'll catch you guys later.